As promised, guys, come welcome back. I'm going to solve that issue that I talked about regarding copying the group of the whole table over to the other side of your spreadsheet. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to loop through this table and I want to copy it starting over here. So let me show you what I'm trying to do without manually doing it myself. So what I want to do is I take this okay and then what I'd like is I'd like to just copy it over here just like that right obviously you want to do it with a program you don't want to do it manually like I'm doing it now so we already know how to loop through the actual table and access each var value in a cell now what we want to do now is we want to we want to see where we want to start in terms of copying it over so in terms of the logic you really aren't going to change your looping in terms of rows correct because you're still going to stay when you copy this file value over to over here you're still going to stay in row one what's actually just going to change is what 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 is actually going to change if you said column, that's correct. So the column number is actually going to change. Which means that we want to write, when we start out in this particular cell, we want to write this value to row 1, column 7. Row 1, column 7, right? Because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Sorry, column 9. Column 9. Okay, so what we want to say is one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. We started I. It's column nine. Then when we get to this particular column, we're still going to write out to row one, right? But now we want to write out to one column ten. So it's one greater than our starting column. Do you see a pattern here? As we go through this one, again, we're going to write out same row, but one, two greater than the starting column, or one greater than the previous one. All right, so all our work is going to really be on the actual column loop, not the row loop. So how I would start this is I would say, okay, I need to, I need to increment my column numbers. I'm going to take this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to create a variable called copy column as integer. And what do we say we want to initiate? Where do we where do we say we want to start at when we start copying stuff over? Well, we want to start at nine, right? Because if we go from from one to over here, it's nine, right? So we want to start at nine. So we would say copy column is equal to nine. That's where we're going to start out. Now, what, which part of the loop do we actually have the value? Is we're going to have the value over here. So we're not going to change this so much. I'm just going to say that cells of I of C dot value, right? This statement here means I have this particular value. And I want to copy it to here right so remember we have now we have to do an assignment statement if you don't know what assignment statement is go back to my previous videos initially uh, on how to declare variables and data types and I explain what an assignment statement is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an assignment statement that says set the cell at row 1 column 9 equal to the cell at row 1 column 1 which means that now it's simple I'm going to say that cells remember the row number doesn't change because we're still in the first row we're gonna now change this to copy column dot value and what this is going to do is as we loop through our columns here right 
dot 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 we're also going to copy the value into the actual copy column index which starts at 9 10 11 12 now there's one thing I didn't do in this piece of code which increments the index of copy column so what do I need to do now think about it how do I increment copy column very simple we just create another statement that says copy column is equal to copy column plus one remember we're never gonna exceed a count of four okay it's a little misleading we're gonna start at nine and we're always gonna go from nine to 13 so 9 10 11 actually 12 right when copy column gets to 12 this is already at 4 so what's the for loop telling you we're gonna only go up to 4 right now there's another problem here that's something that's missing on the next iteration when we get to the next row the copy column variable is not going to be at 9 again it's going to actually be at the previous value that it was set at which is 12 and we actually don't want to do that in this particular case what we can do is we can reinitialize copy column back to 9 right after we break out of the column loop so I can say copy column is equal to 9 so that every time that I increment my row copy column will go back to its original index which is 9 so as I write these out and I go to the next row, copy column will be reinitialized to 9 again. And if we run this, you see that it's been everything's been copied over. Everything's been copied over. And pretty pretty it's it's a little advanced, but I think that once you wrap your head around the code you, you, you begin to understand how it works in terms of looping in terms of looping okay if you have any questions you can always reach out to me on my YouTube channel send me some comments or you can always reach out to me at parttimemagic at gmail.com parttimemagic.com my website uh, or you can subscribe to my channel so you can get additional videos for other content Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Again, if you have any comments, any suggestions, any problems, always contact me. Never any ads. Always free. Take care.